Hello, and welcome to my assignment services. In this video, we will outline the key requirements and guidelines for person-centered care and the functional consequence theory for older adults. The aim of this assessment is to develop a recorded presentation that educates your peers in a clinical environment. You will demonstrate your knowledge of person-centered care and the functional consequence theory, focusing on older adults. This assessment integrates knowledge from other relevant units like NUM 2307, Mental Health and Well-Being in Clinical Practice, NUM 1101, Communication for Nurses and Midwives, and FCA 2303, Chronic Conditions and Supportive Care. We will discuss the functional consequences theory and its application in promoting wellness for older adults with impaired mobility. The functional consequences theory examines how age-related changes and risk factors impact an older adult's functional capability. It focuses on identifying ways to intervene and promote wellness. This theory is essential in understanding how these changes affect well-being and developing strategies to enhance the quality of life. Impaired mobility in the elderly significantly reduces their independence and quality of life. It is crucial to address these issues to enhance their well-being. According to Barter, 2021, interventions can help mitigate these impacts. The functional consequence theory explains the relationship between age-related body changes, risk factors, and functional consequences. The goal is to reduce negative outcomes and support healthy recovery, ultimately helping healthcare providers focus on increasing wellness promotion for older adults needing extra care and support. Impaired mobility refers to difficulty or inability to move freely and independently. Causes include muscle weakness, joint disorders, chronic diseases like arthritis, and neurological disorders. Consequences include an increased risk of falls, reduced capacity for daily activities, social isolation, and decreased quality of life. Functional consequences of impaired mobility include physical changes like tight joints and muscle weakness, increased risk of falls, and emotional reactions such as anxiety, depression, and reduced self-confidence. It also impacts social interactions, leading to reduced participation in community activities, social isolation, and stressed relationships. To promote wellness, several strategies can be implemented. A exercise sessions focusing on strength training and stretching. A use of mobility aids such as canes, walkers, and wheelchairs. Home modifications like installing grab bars, ramps, and special flooring to prevent falls. A healthcare support through regular checkups, physical therapy, and managing chronic conditions. Case study, Mrs. Smith. Let's consider Mrs. Smith, an 85-year-old woman with impaired mobility due to arthritis and muscle weakness. Medical actions included providing a walker and a personalized exercise program and advising her family on home safety modifications. These interventions improved her balance and coordination, reduced her risk of falls, and enabled her to perform daily tasks more successfully. Addressing impaired mobility results in improved physical function, enhanced mental health, and increased social interactions. Strengthened muscle coordination and balance, boosted self-confidence, reduced anxiety, and better mood are key benefits. Socially, more involvement in activities improves relationships with friends, family, and relatives. In summary, the functional consequences theory helps understand and mitigate the effects of age-related changes to improve outcomes. Impaired mobility significantly affects older adults' well-being, but focused interventions can enhance wellness and quality of life. Combining physical, psychological, and social methods provides the best quality of well-being for older adults with mobility difficulties. The key focus is on improving their quality of life by increasing independence and self-sufficiency. The references for this presentation include works by Barter, 2021. Rajeski and Fanning, 2019, Shing et al., 2023, Ernst Meyer and Christman, 2021, Zhao Yang et al., 2021, Pantalaki et al., 2020, and Quasdorf et al., 2023. Thank you for your attention. I hope this presentation has provided valuable insights into promoting wellness for older adults with impaired mobility.